I started uh, covering my legs and then I started wearing like looser pants. Um, I stopped eating pork, stuff like that. And then there were other smaller things. So like after I started covering my legs, I got this feeling that I needed to cover my arms as well. And like for me, that was kind of a sign that this was the truth. I was really depressed, I was struggling with stuff, and I knew these three Muslim kids in my school, and I started asking them questions about Islam. The more I learned, the more I loved it, and I started incorporating small practices into my daily life. So I started um, covering my legs, and then I started wearing like looser pants, um, I stopped eating pork, stuff like that. And then there were other smaller things, so like after I started covering my legs, I got this feeling that I needed to cover my arms as well. and. Like, for me, that was kind of a sign that this was the truth, because where else would this feeling have come from, right? But yeah, I held off my shahada for a while, which isn't good, but I was pre already pretty much practicing, like, I was doing zakir, um, eating halal, stuff like that. But yeah, at that point, I realized I just needed to take my shahada, and I ended up doing it over a FaceTime call in the hallway of my dorm. Before I reverted to Islam, I had a lot of trouble sleeping at night. And it wasn't because I was scared of the dark or anything like that. I just watched a lot of crime shows, specifically Criminal Minds, if you know, you know. So like, yeah, that was like my main fear. And it literally kept me up for hours and hours. I tried sleeping with my light on, like I moved my bed to different places around my room. And I, okay, I did stop watching Criminal Minds, um, but like once it's in your head, it's in your head. Anyways, I started learning about Islam and like, honestly, this is what helped me the most because now I had trust in Allah and his plan for me, which is something I didn't have before. For anyone wondering, I was agnostic. But yeah, I still watch my crime shows and I don't have any problems sleeping at night and it's literally all because of Islam. So Alhamdulillah, and if you are having like the same problems as me, just like renew your trust in Allah because it really does help. Okay, so I understand why people are asking this, but it is a personal relationship that I have with my parents and I'm just not going to be putting that many details out on the internet for everyone to like know about, um, but I will share like how I told them and um, how I told them like I put on hijab and stuff. I reverted my freshman year of college when I was out of state, uh, so there weren't a whole lot of ways that I could tell them. I ended up sending a text message, I wouldn't recommend that, <laughs> but that's what I did. So nothing really happened after the text message, but when I came home for break, things were just a little bit awkward. Um, nothing against them, it's just kind of like, it's new, and so it was just like weird. So after that initial period, things calmed down, they were very accommodating, so my mom started cooking with Hillel me, and they would stop, um, make stops like on road trips so that I could pray. And when I put on hijab, my family was away on a trip, and so I sent them a text message. <laughs> But yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. Uh, don't do that. And like that, they didn't like that. Um, but what probably convinced them that Islam was good for me was my changing character, my change in attitude. Um, like they told me this, they said, you seem happier, you seem more grounded, you seem more confident. And um, we don't agree with Islam, but it seems like you found your way. And like in some cases, it's best just to like come out and say it. Like there's no easy way to do it. You kind of just have to say, hey, I'm Muslim. But with parents that might show like a more negative reaction, it might be better to like show a change in your character, um, like how you respect your parents, like maybe you'll be happier and stuff. And so they take notice of this, and then when you tell them, inshallah, one day that you are Muslim, they can attribute these change these changes in your character to Islam. But yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> Everything around you is a mercy from Allah. Your food, water, shelter, clothing, access to education, sunlight when you walk outside, air to breathe, all of it is a mercy from Allah. All of these mercies from Allah are there for you when you need them. So how could you ever think that Allah does not see you, that he doesn't know you or he's not with you? Every time you drink water or eat food, you are doing so because of the mercy of Allah. So don't ever think that like, 
he's not with you or he doesn't see you or he doesn't have mercy on you. So yeah, if you look around at everything that you have, everything that Allah has given you, you'll know that Allah always sees you and that he is always with you. If you ever feel like really discouraged and alone, just know that Allah is with you and that he knows you better than you know yourself.